Mindful Life Practice Community. Amazing. Ah, okay, so come into your comfortable um, shape. And for the meditation, you can be sitting on um, a cushion. You can be sitting on your mat. Oh my goodness, we have so many people that we have two pages of cameras. That's great. <laughs> And so obviously this day is, um, it's our one year anniversary, but it's not just an anniversary of our community. It's also kind of a one year um, opportunity to reflect on how the world changed. And, and for a lot of us, our lives kind of changed completely overnight. And we sort of had to adapt to new ways of being, new ways of thinking, new ways of moving through the world. And, and I know a lot of us cultivated resilience. A lot of us dealt with things that were harder than we'd ever dealt before. And so we're going to take this opportunity to start off with a little bit of a meditation reflection on kind of the whole year. And then we'll do a tiny bit of warming up and then we'll move into our starting our yoga. So come into your comfortable shape and just lengthen through the spine. And then just close the eyes. Take some deep breaths in and out. So I think around a year ago today, pretty much all of us thought that we were taking a break from our lives for two weeks to, to slow the curve, slow the spread. And, and here we are a year later. The intention of today's meditation is to give you this opportunity to pause. and to reflect on the year that's behind you. To acknowledge all of the things you've done and all the ways you've grown. to identify the person you are in, in this moment. So often we're so focused on the next goal, the next experience, the next thing that we forgot to stop and and think about what we've been through. Right. What are the blessings of the unplanned events? What in life has brought us to this moment right now? So as you're sitting here, just drop into your breath's natural rhythm. Feeling the rise and the fall of the chest as you breathe, noticing the rhythm of your heartbeat. Just relax into your comfortable shape.
Think about all of the incredible things that your body did for you this year. Did your body move for you through your yoga practice or through other activities? Did your body survive disease or illness? How did your body in the midst of all this change and uncertainty, how did your body survive and, and how did your body thrive? Taking a deep breath in and just feeling some gratitude for this body that shows up for you every single day. Shifting your attention to your work, think about any moments in your career from this past year. Did you start a new job? Did you transition your business? Maybe you're reaching retirement or the end of your career. Were there any big milestones of success, any awards, any recognition? Were there any scary steps? Was there self-love and discipline required? Did you have any low moments that forced you to change in, in ways that in the end were just a big blessing? How have you grown as a professional this year? Now taking a deep breath, just feeling gratitude for the ups and downs of your work that's brought you to this moment right now. appreciating who you have become. Now you're going to think about your family. What's transpired within it the past year? Were there any moments that you found meaningful with your immediate or your extended or your chosen family? What happened this year within your family that challenged you? shifted you. Think about all of these moments and memories and thoughts and take a deep breath in.
feeling so much gratitude for it all. Breathing out as you relax a little further. And now just take a moment to think about you. The you that is beyond your body, your job, your relationships, your thoughts, your beliefs. How have you evolved this year? Who have you become? What have you left behind? What have you embraced? Have you lived more bravely, unapologetically aligned? Maybe you've made some hard decisions or a lot of big mistakes. Who have you become? Breathing here with each inhale and exhale. And then just taking a moment to be grateful for, for you. You have made it through this so challenging year. No matter, no matter how many hard moments there have been, moments of joy as well. It's all been yours and brought you here to this moment. And know that this moment is your moment to create. It's a fresh moment and a fresh day and a fresh year ahead. And know that the story that you want to tell next year, it's up to you to create. Take another breath in our seated meditation. And then we're gonna to start to warm up our body. So reach your arms up towards the sky. Leave your right palm on the mat beside you. Take your left arm over to the right. Oh, I just saw Tasha's message lift all the way up. I wasn't looking at the computer. Land your left palm, reach your right arm over to the left. Tasha said, okay, Alex, already crying. Oh, I'm so grateful for all of you. We're going to take our arms all the way up and then cross over towards the right knee. You can land your left palm on the right knee, gaze over the right shoulder.
Nice. And then come all the way up with your arms. And then just rotate the other way. And then come all the way up with both arms, sweep them upwards. Take your palms together. And then we're gonna come onto the hands and knees and then just do some cat cow flows. Nice, so your palms are underneath your shoulders, your knees are underneath the hips and then you can just kind of curl at the spine. Oh, I'm so happy to see how many cameras are here, how many people are here. So something I have been talking a lot about or posting a lot about on Facebook and Instagram is this whole idea that, you know, what often seems like a painful ending is like actually a beautiful beginning in disguise. And, and earlier in the coffee and friends, Brian was asking me, you know, what's the story of the mindful life practice? And I was telling him it was a very painful ending. You know, the whole world was changing. And at the time I felt really lost. If you want to add any like intuitive movements, like I kind of feel like curling my spine around in a circle, go for it. Maybe gazing over one shoulder then the next. And so I think sometimes, you know, there's, there's a quote that's come to mind for a star to be born, uh, a gaseous nebula has to destruct. So collapse and, and crumble. It's not your destruction, it's your birth. Let's bring our body all the way into a neutral. Oh, I see Marie coming in. And then maybe you tuck your toes and just lift up to one little down dog, bending your one knee and then bending through the next. Letting your head drop, let your blood flow go to the brain. And then eventually we're going to come onto our hands and knees. And then you're going to sit your hips back on your heels and rest your forehead. 